Paul and I were doing a video of the PFSEN series on how you set up your PFSEN router to use Quad9 to protect you against malware. So we were visiting some sites and doing some stuff and we, when I look into my Curator console, I saw this and say, what? Tor activity? You know, anonymizer, what the heck is on? Are my kids using Tor at home? That's, that's strange. And I recognize the IP address in here. Obviously, I'm covering uh, my, my uh, IP here at home for obvious reasons, but I was puzzled. So let me tell you how this event actually happened. So my demo system is a machine running Mac OS with VMware and several Windows boxes running on, on, on the VMware. Uh, it's important to say that all these Windows machines are fully patched. And here are the addresses of two of those machines that were involved in this infection. In fact, we can see those two machines opening here and the, all the other ones are down here. You see that they are fully patched. Now, as has been shown in the PFSense series of videos, I replaced my ISP provider router by this PFSense, and boy I'm glad I did, which has a sophisticated firewall, it sent me proxy logs to all the sites that everybody at home goes to, has a powerful DNS resolver that allows me to even intercept SSL URLs and many 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 more things, right? But again that is shown in a separate video. One of the things that we did for this PFSense router, we install Curator CE and we can see it in the background here that's what I showed you before in reality this is not Curator CE, it's my full demo but nothing I did here you cannot do with Curator CE, in fact all the videos we did them with uh, CE but we configure PSN to send to Curator what? DHCP, firewall, DNS logs, proxy logs from Squid and Curator has parsers for those and very nicely NetFlows with a SysFlow, SysD flow uh, when it's NetFlows into Curator. The video we were doing is on the DNS resolver configuration and we are doing several things very nice uh, with DNS security. So we were showing how you can configure your DNS resolver. So instead of working like the default for my ISP provider at home, for example, if you put the very malicious and don't even get close to these things and you'll see why at the end of this video, this site in Hungary, Microsoft.hu, what the DNS at home here from the ISP is going to say, yeah, sure, Jose, go here. Here's the IP address for it. And once you do that, you'll see how infected your machine gets. So we were showing on the video that if you put, configure your DNS resolver to use Quad9, then it will not resolve to addresses that are malicious. But instead of we doing NS lookup for that Maco soft thing, we actually made the mistake of doing HTTP and put the address. We knew it was going to be infected, but what was my or our bet? Well, we have a Mac OS system and we knew that this particular malware was only applicable for Windows machines, so that should protect us. Well, I was actually lucky because I, I was only expecting this machine from being infected and, you know, I will revert to the snapshot and everything will be good. But actually, that's not what happened. Let me show you 
more details in Curator about that. Had I been sending this uh, offense to advisor, I would have gotten this answer. The advisor comes back and says, Jose, <laughs> what you did is pretty bad. Uh, three malware families. And notice the minor techniques that were actually detected. Pretty cool. But uh, I actually did not do that first. Uh, I was actually looking at, well, do, you know, going the hard way. Let me look at the flows. And I was looking at the flows. And when I first saw them, I said, well, let me see the port. The destination port is one, two, three. That's NTP. That's, that's probably a false positive. Well, it was not a false positive. It's actually the malware is disguising by using that port and trying to confuse everybody about it. But if you put this, any one of these two addresses into the X-Force for investigation, it will tell you right away that these are anonymizer IPs. And that's what Curator, quite rightly so, fired that offense. And it is always the case, not always the case, quite frequently the case that this, many of these uh, free or strange uh, anonymizers uh, also are scanning and sites that distribute malware. That's actually a fair well uh, known uh, fact. And notice that the, 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 the traffic sometimes is steady, sometimes variates, so, so and no wonder he's telling you that there's been some exfiltration data there. So, so let's actually see what advisor told us in the graphic investigation. So when I look at the graph, I quickly saw that this is actually the machine where I where I infected the 204. But notice how the malware propagated to this other one, and and this and this and this is actually the, the address of the. Uh, my host, I'm covering my the IP address, the physical IP address at home. But notice that it's telling me that this is related to the pony loader, the pony. So, whoa. And actually, there were other offenses that fire related to that. So that, that allows me to see, whoa, this thing actually spread like wildfire. Which reminds us that we are all just one click away, even in fully patched machine, for getting things inspect, in inspected. So that's what is good to have at home, a setup like... PF sense replacing your router and curator CE to detect these type of things without me doing anything. I wasn't actually looking for this. Also, in another offense, we and I don't want to open them clearly because I don't want to reveal my IP address uh, here at home. We noticed that the activity started by going into these two malicious addresses that we saw before. So, one of the things that PF sense allows you to very easily do is to block those IPs. Let me actually show you how we did that. So here on my PFSense rules, you go to Firewall Rules 1. It's as easy as, you know, I'm going to edit them. You, you, you click here Add, and you specify that it's on the one single host, and you specify the address of boats. You save it, and then that traffic gets blocked. So now I'm going to get back to my video on the quad nine uh, setup but definitely i'm going to use ns lookup next time and i'll make sure i find some better sun uh, box sandbox system if i ever want to detonate this uh, type of malware i hope that you have learned from my experience and enjoy this video <laughs>